So in this problem, we perform integration by parts uh, twice before we get the final answer. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV. So today is another tutorial day. I will uh, discuss the exception of Liate method. So Liate method is good uh, method in integrating integration by parts. For me, Liate is helpful because it will be easy to determine um, if what we're going to set for U and DV. So now I will discuss the exception. So what if you have a problem? Integral of x cubed e raised to x squared dx. So what the, um, example? Let's use the Liotti method. I will set u equal to x cubed, and dv is e raised to x squared. So du. So x cubed is very easy to differentiate. It is equal to 3x squared. How about for v? How can we get the value of v? The integral of e raised to x squared. Hmm, this is quite to integrate without a limit. Therefore, we can use the Liate method here. But we can still perform the integration by parts. But we can't use the Liate method. So we can rewrite this integral into integral of x squared times x e raised to x squared dx. So this is still the same. I just factor out the x. Now let's perform the integration by parts. But we can't use the Liate method now. So u equal to x squared. And dv equal to x e raised to x squared. So I put together the x and to the e raised to x squared because this is now easy to integrate. And du or the x squared is very easy also to differentiate. This is equal to 2x dx. And the integral of x e raised to x squared is 1 half e raised to x squared. So I will show later how can I... Uh, I get this uh, answer. So, following the integration by parts formula, this is equal to uv, which is 1 half x squared times e raised to x squared. Then, let's subtract the integral of v du, which is 1 half e raised to x squared times 2x dx. And maybe you notice that the 1 half and 2 will be cancelled. Hence, this is equal to negative integral of x e raised to x squared dx. And this is the same here. So, therefore, the uh, answer in this integral is also the same here, which is 1 half e raised to x squared. But I'll show you how I get the answer. So, using u substitution, this is equal to, I mean, I will put u equal to x squared using u substitution so to du is equal to 2x dx and dx is equal to du over 2x now i'll plug in this value into the integral so this is equal to negative integral of x e what is the value of x squared u so this is u then multiply by dx, which is du over 2x. And x will be cancelled. And since 1 half is just a constant, we can put that before the integral sign. So this is called the negative 1 half integral of e raised to u du. And this is equal to negative 1 half e raised to u plus c. And what is the value of u? Yes x squared so because we are in the u world we need to uh, substitute back the original 
uh, algebraic variable which is x so this is equal to negative one half e raised to x squared plus c therefore our final answer is equal to negative one half x squared e raised to x squared minus one half e raised to x squared and plus c we can simplify this into oops this is not negative this is positive we can simplify this into one half x squared one half e raised to x squared times x squared minus 1 plus c hence this is our final answer the five four Now, I will integrate this using a U substitution first before um, integration by parts. We can use U substitution here before we can in, uh, perform the integration by parts. So, the another approach is I will set U equal to x squared. Then du equal to 2x dx. And dx is equal to du over 2x. So, I will input this value into the integral. So, this is equal to the integral of x squared, which is u, times x e raised to x squared, which is u. Then, multiply by dx, which is du over 2x. And if you notice that the x will be cancelled, and since 1 half is just a constant, we can put that before the integral sign. So this is equal to 1 half integral of u e raised to u du. Now we can use the integration by parts here. Or we can use the Liate method here. So u equal to u. So let's uh, use the uh, other variable y equal to u and dv is equal to e raised to u dy is du and v is equal to e raised to u now let's uh, follow the integration by parts formula so this is equal to yv which is u e raised to u minus the integral of v dy which is e raised to u du and the answer is u e raised to u minus the integral of e raised to u which is still e raised to u then plus c and we can simplify this by factoring the e raised to u so e raised to u times u minus 1 plus c hence this is the answer but we are in the u world we need to plug in back the value of uh, x i mean we need to plug in back the value of u which is x squared and there's a one half here i'm sorry i forget to put the one half so this is equal to one half e raised to u And let's plug in back the value of u, which is x squared. Hence, our final answer is equal to 1 half e raised to x squared times x squared minus 1 plus c. So, still the same. In, uh, we still get the, uh, the same answer in the first approach that we use so let's proceed to the uh, second example or the second exception of the liate method in integrating integration by parts or integrating integrals using integration by parts 
There are a lot of integrals which can be better evaluated using integration by parts. But um, some integrals that we can uh, use the integration by parts, we can't use the Liati method because of the um, exception or for some reason. So let's integrate second cube x dx. We can we can use the integration by parts in this problem or integration by parts um, is better uh, attack in this problem but we can't use the Liati method so I will set u equal to second x so dv equal to second squared x so if we if we multiply second x and second squared x can still get the second cube x so du is equal to second x tangent x dx and v is equal to what is the integral of second squared x if you remember the derivative of tan x is second squared x therefore the integral of second squared x is tan x now following the integration by parts formula this is equal to uv which is second x tan x minus the integral of v du which is tan x times second x tan x dx can simplify this into negative integral of tangent squared x second x dx because tan x times tan x is tangent squared x and we can use the identities for tan x so this is equal to second squared x minus 1 times second x dx and we can distribute the second x so this is equal to negative integral of second cube x minus second x dx and if you notice that the integral repeat so let's add integral of second cube x here so therefore this will be cancelled and let's add two integral here because we add the integral of second cube x So anyway guys, anyway guys, if the integral repeats, so um, there are a lot of integrals which uh, in the end the integral is repeat. So just add the uh, original integral to cancel the um, repeating integrals and add two here because if we add second cube x here, so second cube x plus second cube x is two second cube x now let's integrate second x dx anyway negative times negative is positive therefore this will be plus integral of second x dx this is very easy to integrate because this is equal to ln of second x plus tangent x then plus c hence our final answer is equal to now to cancel this uh, two here we need to multiply one half so multiplying one half this will be cancelled therefore our final answer is one half second x tan x then plus ln of second x plus tan x plus c hence this is our final answer anyway one half is distributed um, both second tan x and ln x so let's 
put the bracket here because one up is distributed to ln sin ln second x tan x and second x tan x so this is our final answer all right that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts about it by commenting below and if you learned something today please give this video a thumbs up also if you want to see the other videos link in the description below and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so stay tuned and see you on my next video thanks and god bless i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong